Pre-order the Clownfish TV comic book right now on Indiegogo. Go to clownfishtvcomic.com. That's clownfishtvcomic.com. This is a fun collection of all new comic strips based on dumb stuff we've said on the show. Again, that's clownfishtvcomic.com. You're going to have to hurry. We're only taking pre-orders for a limited time. Now we're going to get back into the show. Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we're going to talk about Alita versus Captain Marvel like it's 2019 all over again. Oh my God, yeah, well, no, because Captain Marvel 2, which is the Marvels will be out before Alita 2 would be. Yeah. We're going to talk about, we're going to bring up that very unpleasant situation. We're going to go into the memory hole and pull something out of the memory hole. Um, Because it does appear that there is officially an Alita sequel in development. And we've known that they've been wanting to do and did the blood oath and all that stuff to bring it back. And now it seems because of Avatar, uh, the the way of water, we might actually get an Alita 2. Yeah, so if if you don't like the blue cat people, um, that's okay. You don't have to watch that movie. But because of its success, that gives... Uh, James Cameron more leverage. Well, with, that, and they think that the technology is even better now than it was then. What can they do with it? Yeah, and Alita was was pretty awesome. I mean, it was. I mean, a lot of people were like, "Oh, it's the best movie ever made." No, it wasn't the best movie ever made. But as far as anime adaptations go, it's probably the best. It's yeah. probably the best. You know, I mean, I, I'm sorry, Taika Waititi, Akira, hell no. no don't even. If but, rumor's still true that he's still trying, someone just shut that down. Yeah, shut it down. He is literally the last person I would ever bring in on a project like Akira. Uh, so anyway, let's let's talk about this. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. Uh, you'll get a woohoo if you woo-hoo. do. There's your woohoo. Okay, so I hope you hit the subscribe button, because if not, you stole a woohoo from Geeky. That's right. So you better be hitting that button. Yeah, you don't want to steal her woohoos. In the arms of an angel. <laughs> Battle angel. Oh, that's all oh, I didn't even do that on purpose. Oh, see? Now, this story comes from our writer, Mr. Milo. He brought it to our attention that apparently um, in an interview, uh, they were he was talking to Screen Rant. In an interview with Screen Rant, John Landau brought, was asked about Alita 2. Yeah. And he said, yeah, it seems like it's moving forward. Yeah. So, again, I think that's because you know, there was so much leverage now because of, uh, you know, Avatar doing well. And I'm sure the next, I mean, regardless of what you think of the movies, I personally am not a big Avatar fan. I love Pandora, um, but I'm not a big fan. I'm of not movies. either. I've never sat through the whole first one because it was just dances with wolves with cat yeah. people. Not my thing, but it could be your thing and that's completely cool. And I, I'm happy for you. But they made a lot of money. So the movies made a lot of they money. They did, that's, mostly that's, overseas, but yes, they did. So I think Disney is going to do what they can do to keep James Cameron happy because right now, Avatar 2 is like the only bright spot <laughs> that they had. I mean, most of their movies have been massive misfires at the box office. And, um, you know, they might yeah. take another chance on Alita. Because the, the, I'm looking at the Alita situation kind of like the uh, Christopher Nolan Batman trilogy, mm-hmm. where the first movie, Batman Begins, didn't really blow up the box office because a lot of people were like, yeah, the last movie, the last Batman movie was Batman and Robin. Like, do we really want to go back? And yeah, that's reboot? true. And uh, when people saw it on home video, and it kind of kind of was, I guess, leggy in the theaters because people were like, oh, it's actually pretty good. But when people saw it on home video, they're like, wow, that was actually that was actually a good take on Batman. You might disagree, but a lot of people were like, this didn't suck. This is OK. And yeah, then, when it doesn't suck is a good thing then you know. Yeah. Typical so, Hollywood career. So then when The Dark Knight came out, it just and it was also, you know, unfortunately, Heath Ledger's last role. But when it came out, it just completely blew up. And I'm I'm kind of thinking that Battle Angel 2, Alita 2, could go that way, where a lot of people missed it in the theater, but they've had time to watch it on Blu-ray, yeah. they've had time to watch it on streaming, and they're like, yeah, this is actually pretty good, and it ended on a cliffhanger. So let's, you know, let's. this wasn't terrible. This was an anime adaptation. It wasn't terrible. The effects were pretty good. Uh, let's, let's have another one. Yeah, well, it sounds like you might get your wish. And this is what uh, John Landau said. He said, we're working on it. I think what we've learned from Avatar is how much more facial nuance and subtlety that we can get into characters that we want to be emotional and emote that are humanoid. Alita would not have been possible, but for what we did on Avatar. Avatar The Way of Water would not be what it is if what we, not what we did for Alita. And now let's put, the, let's put that back and give it back to Alita. 
now we're talking to Robert Rodriguez and Rosa Rosa Salazar, and it's all good. All is good. Yeah, I, I would love to see another one. I mean, especially since they ended it on a cliffhanger. Like, you got to at least give us one more, you know? But, I mean, the, the manga series was... Well, after all this Disney, so. it'd be stupid not to let him do another one because they brought two, what they do, two billion or whatever on Avatar Plus? Something like that, yeah. I'm like, dude, you know, he should be able to tell you, I want to do Avatar 2, and, you, and Disney should be like, here's a check. Yeah, and look, I mean, at this point, it's obvious that they're running out of steam on Star Wars and Marvel. And they're... They need know, new things. Anime and manga are blowing up right now, and they've, they've got this one. And mm -hmm. it was well-received by the fans. And they got it by accident because they bought Fox. Which they got it by it. accident, yeah. Like, you got this one by accident. Now, the only thing I'm worried about is Disney didn't have any meddling right. in the original. Right, they're going to They're going to want to tinker with it and make a kinder, gentler... Or, or PC. Yeah, PC. There you, you know. go. Yeah, and here's the thing. It's like, and you remember too, because Disney had, they had, they bought Fox and it was coming out already. So they couldn't stop it. But do you remember when it came out against Captain Marvel? The, the narrative should have been, we have two strong female-led kick-ass action movies in the box office, which was a win for women. That is a win. It is at all, you keep saying this is what you want. You got what you wanted. But instead, the media started pitting Alita against Captain Marvel because they were mad that people were, you know, wanting to see Alita and not Captain Marvel. And they started pitting them against each other, making fun of, you know, the body type and all different things. Oh, it was I'm like, meanwhile, Brie Larson wore a skin tight suit too, just saying. It was so ridiculous. There were articles written, and I'm not going to bother pulling them up because I actually think the outlets that wrote those articles when I, I think it was like not all of them. girls or whatever. Some of them did, but not all of them. But, but they were putting articles out there like, oh, it's problematic because Alita, spoiler, the movie's been out for years now. Spoiler, Alita, uh, you know, finds a military body and then when they hook her up to it, it she puts boobs on it. You know, because that's what she looks like in her mind. She was in a little kid's body before. She was in a little kid's body, and then when she gets well, her, not little kids, but like a child's body. It was designed child. for yeah, a young was, teen. Yes, and um, so then when she gets her her grown up body, she gets boobs. But that's how she she never was a kid. I mean, she's like three hundred years old. You know, and she had a proper like battle body before, but it had been taken from her. You know, so like so she she, she puts her body back to what it should have been. Right. And they had a hissy because she had tits. Uh, Meanwhile, Brie Larson has tits. Not much of an ass, but she has tits. And they put her in a skin-tight spandex suit, and that was fine. I mean, they're still... Oh, my God. Anthony Grimogli, of Look, she, Brie Larson has bigger boobs than... Than Alita does. I just, I, I, I didn't understand this whole thing. Like, oh, Anthony. None, none of this. And the weird thing is, is like, this is the stupidest thing anyway, because at that point, Disney had bought Fox. All the money was going to the same place. All the It wasn't like it was one company against another. All the money went to the same place. Um, but they wanted the big box office for the Marvel film. Yeah. And yeah. and the media was more than uh, willing to oblige uh, to to try to divide a fan's cause. You know? And, of course, if you liked one over the other, if you liked the lead over Captain Marvel, you were a terrible person. You were somehow a misogynist, a sexist, a racist, a bigot, an ist an ist, an ist, an ist. And if you liked Brie Larson, then you were just you were just a good person. So I, here's, here's what I think is probably going to happen. If there are more Alita movies, I think the, the follow-up movies are going to do better than the original if they are allowed to do what they want to do, which they might be allowed to do now that James Cameron has more He'll probably just say, you let me do what I want if you want to make money. Right. You stick close to the manga and the anime like they did in the original. The original was pretty much one-to-one -one with the OVA. They just kind of added some stuff to it, but it was very, very close. To the OVA. You stay close to the source material and you let James Cameron do what he wants to do and you let Robert Rodriguez do what they want to do and you don't change plot points. You know, the, the, the Alita manga was hugely popular. You don't need to change it. Right. You know, just stay close to that. You'll make a lot of money. That's, and Disney's so desperate for money now, they might listen. We're so desperate. We're, we're slumming it with anime. We're so desperate we're going to get rid of Brie Larson after this movie. And uh, replace her with, uh, uh, oh, Taylor Paris. Ta 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 Paris. Yeah, I'm yeah. sorry. I was re re replace her with Monica Rambeau. Uh, replace her with Taylor Ta Paris. I can't remember her name. Sorry. She actually seems like a very nice. Well, they, well, like, they aren't. No, they don't know if they're going to replace her. But, you know, oh, yeah. they're all like, you know, and I love it now. I love it now. It makes me laugh so hard. All these media outlets. All you racists. About Ms. about Art the Marvels. You don't even know that. Originally, Captain Marvel was Monica Rambeau. Neither did you. And I was like, I was like, I saw it multiple times. Neither and did I you. was like, what the hell? Holy shit. Yeah. You're just making it up now. It's just, oh. 
And I so, because that, well, okay, so that explains the, the ignorance explains the lack of outrage because if these media outlets, these progressive media outlets fully understood comics history, they would have been all over like, why is Captain Marvel white? The first female mm -hmm. Captain Marvel was a black woman back in the, and they didn't know. They didn't know because one, they're too young and two, they didn't read comics. I'm like, I was even like, yeah, the first Captain Marvel I was aware of other than Mar Marvel was more of a seventies, early eighties thing. But when I started reading comics, it was mid to late eighties. It was Monica Rambeau. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, but that's not true because that goes against narrative because they, they didn't have diversity and inclusion until about 2014. Oh. Okay. Yeah. And there was a time when Monica Rambeau and Storm, they were both the leaders of two of the most popular that's teams. That's not true. Oh, okay. Disney invented the the you know, black leads. Um, okay. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Sure, Jan. Sure. And 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 no. Uh, oh, sorry. Andy Stevenson invented Shira. Yeah, it's uh, their daughter, right? That's mm -hmm. that's what, anyway. Um. So this is going to be really interesting to see what happens. I, I personally, as long as they stay close to the source material and Disney doesn't nerf it, I'm completely on board with there being more Alita. But it sounds like they're, they're, they're pushing ahead. They promised people they were going to push it through. And now that, that uh, Avatar's done so well, they are now they're tied up with Avatar. So who knows how long it'll get to, to take to get to Alita. But since it's Robert Rodriguez and stuff doing it, you know, they might be able to move faster. Well, that's just it. James Cameron couldn't direct it himself. Because right. He, he couldn't. was busy doing, you know, he puts some But he's in, like highly everything. involved, from my understanding. He has talked about, James Cameron has been talking about adapting Alita since like the 90s. Mm -hmm. Like when, because I, I remember, like I used to go back in the day, I used to go to Ain't It Cool News and they used to, and it was all text and they'd be like, here are all the projects in development hell. And they had this one and they had like Ghostbusters 3. Well, it's all good as long as there's swords and no guns. Yeah, we can't have guns. Guns are problematic. Guns are bad. James Cameron's gonna wishes he had not put guns in Terminator movies, which would have made a completely different <laughs> fucking movie, and he wouldn't be where he is now. But okay. All right. Anyway, can we wrap this up? Yeah, let's wrap this up. So please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye. Help support the channel. Go to thereef.support and get early access to podcasts, videos, and other content. That's thereef.support.